In this video, we will see how to apply sulfate, point load and beam load in MIDAS engine. This is our building model. Now to apply sulfate, let us go to the load tab. Here we can directly go to the sulfate command under the general section. We can provide a name for the sulfate, put it under a load set. This load set can be created using this three dotted toolbox. By default, the static load set one is coming under the dead load type. Then over here we provide the scale factor. By default, minus one is a scale factor provided in the Z direction. In Midas engine, Z is the vertical axis. X and Y are the horizontal axis. So when we provide minus one, it indicates that 100% of the sulfate is being considered in the negative, that is downward Z axis direction. Now to finish with the sulfate command, we click on apply and continue or we click on OK. We can see the sulfate applied on the structure with the help of a small sulfate sign. So that's the sulfate sign that's at the center of the structure. We can also see the sulfate applied under the analysis tree menu. Expand the static load, load type, expand dead load, static load set 1, sulfate and see the name of the sulfate provided. Now let us see how to apply point load on a structure in Midas engine. To apply point load, we need points. By default, points are at the intersections of members. If you want to apply point at any intermediate location, then either we divide the member or we create a point there. Yes, dividing a member could be time taking, so instead, we can go to the body tab and under the sketches we can click on point to create point anywhere on the structure. To make it easy we can go to the plane view and let's say select this plane then we go to the point command and we click on any location we can create points on slabs, you can create points on line elements like beams and for the columns as well we can create a point at any location, at any intermediate location. So we can create on any member be it a beam, column, slab or shear wall. Now to apply the load on these points we can go in the 3D or we can be in the plane mode or story mode. No problem but uh, to apply the load we go to the load tab and we click on under the general section point load we provide a name to our loading put it under a load set and we can select objects now when we click on select objects that time if you make a box then a lot of points along with the points that we have created might get selected so in case you would like to ignore these points but only take these main points that we have into consideration then we can go use the sub selection filter in any of the command when there is select objects over here in the selection filter box there will be only those members available for which we can use the command so for only the main body points, I can uncheck the sub points and uh, then just make a simple box all over and only those four points will be selected. One was on the beam, one on the slab, another on the slab, then we have one on the column. Then uh, comes the direction. So in direction, basically we select over here the coordinate system. So depending on this coordinates, the value inputs will be available. Like for the coordinate that is a global coordinate Cartesian one, 
we have all the points available like x y z and x and y and z such kind of forces and moments can be applied on the points if we go for reference line then we can select a particular line and only one value for force and moment will be there because direction is already specified by using the type and similarly the surface and then there is vector as well so i'll be using right now the coordinate global cartesian one and provide the loads or the load value over here we can apply in the global x y z direction or, or about the x y z direction that is the moment so for example i'm providing a negative 10 sign to apply the loading in the negative z direction and then simply click on apply and continue or we can directly click on ok to finish application of the load we can see this load applied on the structure by looking on the screen right over here so that's the loading applied we can also see this point load applied under the analysis tree menu under the static load dead load and static load set just the one load set I had created and over here we have the point load and all these can be uh, modified by using this modified tool or we can say load table in which we can simply see which all points are being used for that loading and uh, what is the value of the load applied we can even modify the load values from the table so this is how we have applied the point load now let us go ahead and look how to apply beam load under the load tab general and beam load we provide over here the name of our loading then put it under a load set then we can select object select objects now this beam load can be applied not only to beam members but can be applied to any line members so we can apply on the columns beams braces sub beams sub columns we can see all those over here what all members can be used for applying this loading so we select the object for example here i selected the beam and uh, we provide a direction so we have got all, all sorts of direction like the global and the local directions so we select the global z direction and we have a projection that can be used so you can click yes or no likewise and accordingly the load will be projected on the members this is mostly useful when you have got inclined members on which the horizontal dl is to be applied then further the load type in midas engine we have distributed force moment concentrated force moments here in case of distributed force like if you want it uniform or non-uniform you can uh, monitor it or you can control it from here then also you can apply full udl on the entire beam or you can apply partially by help of the ratio so zero to one that is zero to hundred percent like that and there is length also available in which you can just specify the start and end length and right now over here the program has automatically found out what is the length of that member so you can easily just provide another value like two meters you can see the unit system over here and over here as well this is where you provide the value of the loading so in kilonewton per meter i provide a value of minus five and further you can click on apply and continue and this is how partial udl can be applied then further if you would like to have it uniformly varying load then you can uncheck this option and uh, you can provide the two loadings like minus 5 and minus 10 likewise so this is kind of a trapezoidal loading that we can apply on our structure so as you can see over here a preview is visible trapezoidal preview is visible i can make it ratio and put one sign so you can see over here how the uniform varying load is being applied then further we can also use function so in case you would like to apply some triangular loading on the model on the beam or parabolic when it comes to moments that time you will see this loading on the structure as 
a double arrow you will just uncheck the thickness thickness and you can see over here the arrows a single arrow for the load that is a force and a double arrow where you have moment applied so this is how you will get the display also for a concentrated I would like to just show how a concentrated force will be shown by the program so we can provide a ratio of let's say 0.5 to apply it at the center of this beam so I selected the beam and we can see over here how concentrated point load can be applied on the beam so just click on apply and that's how you'll see it beam loads can be visible in the analysis tree menu as well under the load set that you have put it into and under that we have beam loads and if we expand that we will see all the beam loads one by one that have been applied on the structure and yes if you would like to make any modifications we can anytime go to the load table and we can see all the beam loads that have been applied and do the modifications from the table itself so this is how we can apply sulfate point load and beam load on the structure in Midas engine.